how this is fixed it you may have seen in one of my previous videos on the mad waves mad player that QB fell off the table several times and this broke his leg so I need to open him up it's going to be difficult but to start with I need to take off his legs and these two screws one inside each of the legs so let me unscrew those one leg off make sure the screws safely out of the way let's get the other leg off this is not easy because they've not left a lot of space to take the legs off now I've actually got the legs off what I want to do is just switch him on and see what actually happens with the legs switching back on in So this leg is just not working at all. Okay, oops, it suddenly came back to life. So it could actually just be loose. So I need to kind of try and get inside there. So let's try switching him back on again. So that means at the current time I don't need to undo his body, which is good. Um, so let's see if I can get into his leg. Okay, so there's some catches here. So I've just managed to push one down. So let's see if I can get the other one. I can get in amongst the groove and see if I can push that one down. Whoa, that's good. That's really, really lucky. Okay, turn it over. See if I can follow that round and do the same again. So on the edge, come round, push down. And last one. So as we can see, the drive part of the servo is on the top and then there's the cable coming in at the bottom. And what we need to do is actually get at the drive part of the servo, which is here. And to do that, we need to take off this panel on the side of the leg. I'm using my favorite splurger, Granny's old bone knife, which is both flexible, strong and blunt. Put the panel safely to one side so you don't lose it. And now you'll just need a small screwdriver to undo the screw that's holding the servo control cog in place. Make sure you put the screw to one side carefully and then just applying a little bit of upward pressure to the leg will force the cog out. And make sure you put that safely to one side. In order to be able to manipulate the foot, you're gonna have to pull through some of the cable on the other side of the leg and just feed it through gently and then it should slide up. This enables you to manipulate the cable and the foot whilst reducing the risk of damage to the cable. The servo itself is quite a tight fit but with a little bit of manipulation you should be able to lift it out. In part two we'll be checking out the servo and we'll be looking at replacing it or replacing some of the components in it. I hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel so you'll be informed when part two is available. Thanks for watching. Bye.